Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? That's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? Okay. How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, ah, ah. Stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Sure. What's it look like out there? Hey guys, welcome hey, back to secure. episode 8 of Quantum party. Break. This is the Don't let's play slash let's anything. watch, depending on what episode you're and looking at. In this one, there is I gameplay, so. and we She's are party, basically, we just escaped, thanks to Beth around. here. And, uh, party. yeah, we're going to see what's so going on here. So you sip champagne while I break into a high security installation. Looks like you got this all figured out. Well, yeah, what's up with that? Me. Oh, thank you. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't going to survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, Will do. Yep. You know what's at stake here. Sure do. This can't be about revenge. Absolutely not. I'm not here for Paul. Pinky swear. No, I lied. I'm gonna kill Paul. Hey! He's escaping! Oh. Oh no! Oh, time rush! Okay. This is some Max Payne BS right here. That's kind of cool. Oh, here we go! Yeah, this is so. This is the uh, melee I was talking about. Uh, they actually showed uh, in gameplay. I think around E3 they actually showed a section, and I think at that point here it already unlocked uh, this move or whatever. I was learning to control them better. That felt good. Yeah. Look pretty cool too. Look pretty badass if I do say so myself. Alright, so what's this? Very sci-fi and very monarch. Something tells me it wasn't commissioned by them though. Hmm. Yeah guys, I'm really liking this game. Hey, uh what's next? Oh shit. Uh, just a second, Beth. I'm getting shot at. Woo. Oop, oop. Oh, you could have warned me about that one, Beth. Yeah, jeez. Well, at least we got it. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this okay. game. How am I getting to that radar tower? Uh, will you guys shut up? I'm trying to talk. Okay, we're done talking. Okay. But yeah. I am really enjoying this game. Uh, I actually really like the live action cutscenes in this. Again, that's the one thing I thought would really drag this game down. And if anything, I think it excels it. Uh, the gameplay is decent enough. I mean, there are there is some issues with the aiming. I find, uh, but apparently, I turning off the uh, aim assist will help. Which I, unfortunately, I haven't actually done yet because I basically I record these all in quick succession so uh Must i just haven't had time to do that i will do that at some point and, and maybe i won't maybe i'll because i think around this time i'm kind of getting used to uh you know how the game's playing and whatnot and I, who knows by taking the aim assist now off maybe i'll find it uh, much worse or 
I like that effect. It's a cool effect. Hey, oh, I hear some dudes. We can spin it however we want. Call it can I or pin it on Joyce? Use my move yeah, here. Might as well take the blame for the mess he made. It seems that's what it wants me to do. Bam! Right in the face. Oh shit. Oh. That <laughs> Oh, I got him. But that's some of the jankiness. It seems like... I, I, I don't know. Like It seems like if I'm aiming, it should turn it around. But it doesn't seem to want to do that. I don't know. It's really a minor minor, minor uh, issue, though. They're like really, really enjoying this, too. Uh, especially now that I'm editing it. Because I'm missing a lot of the stuff. That's the thing when you're doing a Let's Play. You tend to miss a lot of the story aspects. Uh, of your game that you're playing but when you're going back and editing not only do you see mistakes that you've done but you actually can pick up a lot of the story so that's kind of what I've been doing I've been going back while editing uh, and getting the story that way and uh, you know I think it's uh, I'm really enjoying the story actually I think it's uh, fairly good but you know to be fair I mean Remedy's always been pretty good at stories and games and uh, Quantum Break is no exception. So what do we have here? I wonder if I should just go guns blazing here. Or... Uh, Okay. Well, so it seems like the helicopters are coming after me, which is what I was hoping for. Okay, we're good. Gonna blast this. Okay, I can't. That's cool. Uh, let's get back here. All right. That's one thing I'm missing in this game. I wish I wish it had a uh, roll button, kind of like you know how Uncharted had like Drake, how you can roll him in Uncharted or Gears of War, or, you know, all those games like that. Uh, you know, I just, it, it's a nice little evasive tactic that you can use, and uh, that's one thing in this game. I, I kind of wish it would would have borrowed from uh, other games. Is, is like a roll of some kind. But then again, you do have the. As I'm getting shot here, gotta be careful. Great, another one. You go dead now. All right. Get some ammo. Whoop. Got to use my rush move here. We got you. We got you. Ooh. Nope. You didn't see anything. You didn't see nothing, man. There we go. I always that's that's really satisfying. I always like that. And hey, who who better to do slow mo and video games and remedy the guys who created that in the video game uh, space? You know, with uh, obviously with Max Payne. I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Blow your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? Hello, this is what is this, a Bond villain layer? <laughs> no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Alright, I'm gonna go over here, rope. Fuck. Thought stuff was about to go down there for a second. Uh, nothing. Oh, goody. Always nice to waste time in a let's play. And uh, check down here real quick. Probably doing it for nothing, as I ex wait. Uh, yep, as I expected. Did that for nothing. All right, so let's go into this door. Good evening. You weren't expecting somebody this handsome, I know. Oh, that's right. This Martin dude is, is potentially going to be shot here. Let's give Monarch the audience they deserve. And that's what tonight is about. The future. 
I don't know what that okay, Beth, did. I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah. I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart to heart with me to make it. Huh. <laughs> and we didn't have any of that. I like this music. Pretty cool. Elevator music is fairly re relaxing, though. If you really listen to it, like, uh, elevator music, like, oh shit. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, I didn't do that. I, I don't think I hit any. Oh, there it goes again. Yeah, I'm not doing that. That's happening by itself. Oh, oh, oh shit. I don't know if that was that always there. Yeah, it's stuff like this. It's, it's stuff like this. I think it's really cool. And again, you know, going back to like the my uh, the, the first episode, it's amazing how games have really evolved, uh, especially in the graphical department, uh, and, and even stuff that aids graphics, like animation stuff. It's just amazing what what has been accomplished. <laughs> In such a short time, from like even like the NES, or even going a little further back, like the Atari, it blows my mind, honestly. Of course, we gotta look for some collectibles um, and nothing. Okay, so run through the oh oh oh. That's right. We gotta use this here. Whoa. Okay, we're good. I like how everyone's like frozen. Cool. Oh shit! We will just kill you just in case you unfreeze yourself there. Uh, what are we doing? Oh, some kind there of we go. Drone. Knowing that Monarch had eyes in the sky made me a little uneasy. Okay. Is that it? oh okay? Just gotta hit a button there. I always liked this future, like, very clean lab look in games. What the hell is this? Yeah, what's, ooh, what's going on here? Oh. What is that? It's like I'm being drained. Oh no, we're not being drained, are we? Wait, didn't didn't we uh, didn't we kind of destroy something like that? I know I I'm thinking of something else. Oh, holy crap! There we go. Oh, these guys again! I am going to kill you very very fastly <laughs> while doing monologue there you go you're dead all right oh grab there we go that's the one thing in in this game is I kind of wish they would have gave you more creativity when it comes to using your powers and what I mean by that is you look at something with crisis where uh, you're giving these tools the cloak uh, speed, like the speed run, uh, you know, be able to run fast, uh, power and stuff like that. But you can use them in creative manners. Uh, you know, you could go into a base, strap C4 to all the buildings, then go back outside of the base, grab a truck, strap some C4 to that, and just jihad that G that jeep or the truck into the base, blow everything up, and then you know, have some fun that way. Where in this one, like I find. There is opportunities potentially to use these time powers create creative creatively, you know. Uh, maybe uh, there could be a destroyed wall near an enemy, and maybe you uh, lift that wall up with your powers, and then uh, 
then that wall then collapses again and, and takes out an enemy or something on the up top. You know, maybe you reverse the time and uh, it, it falls down on the enemy or lifts the enemy up. Maybe, you know, maybe an enemy's up on a, a destroyed balcony or a destroyed floor that's on the ground. And you can then lift that up. And then when it collapses again, it knocks the, you know, the enemy down. I think there's a lot of creative things that they could have done with, with these powers. And so far, now granted, I'm only in, uh, I think this is chapter three. I'm only in chapter three, so. Uh, and this dude is kicking my ass here. Gotta be careful here. But yeah, I mean, you know, perhaps later on, maybe there's, maybe there's more opportunity for uh, creativity. But right now, it seems like most of these powers are just to evade people. Which is fine. You know, it, it works as a mechanic. And it, they are, to be fair, that, you know, they may not be creative reasons to use a power, one power over the other, but I think they still suit the game just fine. But I gotta admit, that's pretty cool. Be able to knock bodies around. Eee, you went flying. Which way is uh, office? Yeah, good question. It was clear that Monarch had been building the Chrono uh, Do I want it? Yes, I do. They were prepared for the fracture. None of it would have been possible without the CFR. Yeah, this area kind of reminds me a little bit of uh, Mirror's Edge, you know, in that kind of futuristic, everything super clean look, you know? Uh, it has a very Mirror's Edge like look. And by the way, Mir Mirror's Edge 2 is coming out. I don't know if I'll necessarily do a let's play of it, but I may, who knows, may, maybe I'll record one anyway. And here's the thing, a little behind the scenes. There's a lot of times I actually record a let's play, but don't actually post it up for various reasons. Maybe I'm not too happy with it, or I'm not sure I'm going to finish the let's play, in which case uh, I don't put it up. I during Oh, so what do we got to do here? Okay. Just get, gotta get. Oh, okay. Well, duh. <laughs> Pretty straightforward. But yeah, you know, talk about let's plays. Uh, I generally speaking prefer to have a let's play completed from beginning to end. I don't like leaving strangl stragglers. I don't want to leave incomplete. Uh, there may be cases where I have an incomplete let's play, uh, but things get in the way. But I will usually go back and complete that, uh, you know, as much as possible. Uh, the only things that maybe are, are left left behind a little bit are maybe you know my my hockey videos by uh, BA BA Pro. And to be fair, uh, you generally you generally get the gist of that. You know what's going on there. Uh, there's no real story. story. And the gameplay is basically the same, you know, throughout throughout it. You know, there's no new scenery. There's no, you know, things like that. Oh, damn. Doors are deadly. Apparently. All right, so let's check this again here. Try this again, I should say. Uh, it seems like you gotta have like a pretty good timing, and these are very sporadic here, so I'm not quite sure. Oh, I guess that would work. No alarms. All so right. Knows about the mess I made on the way in. Nice job, Beth. Get some more freeze frozen dudes. All right, you guys can read that. Just pause it. Uh, hopefully, I don't scroll too fast here. It's one of those things I'm gonna have to like see after the video has been edited, unfortunately, to see if it can actually be paused while scrolling through this. I I think I'd be all right, but uh, I'm not gonna know unfortunately until I actually edit it. So we're just gonna check these rooms here, maybe get some more story stuff. You can read that if you like. Maybe find some Easter eggs. Maybe a hint at Alan Wake 2 or That's something. Alright, can read that. Man, I would really love some Alan Wake 2. Oh shit. Oh shit, good achievement. Nice. 
I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Achievements are always nice to have. Holy crap, there's a lot of documents. Yeah, I'm so I'm assuming there's off. actually a trophy to get all Any these time approaching quickly. all these things here. Less than 24 hours away. I don't know if it Mr. actually it would changes things course. in the end. Admittedly, like, he was wrong. You know, as far as the story is concerned, probably not. I think the only thing that really changes are those junctions or whatever. There, you can read that. I'll probably read this on my own time as well. Oh shit, what's this? Oh. Oh, it's Alan Wake. She's playing Alan Wake. Oh, the ghost going to lay upon the dark. Alrighty. It's kind of creepy. But that was cool to see her playing Alan Wake. There's actually a lot of hints to the game Alan Wake. Now, I know that's the game they, they made, and that's also the one they partnered with uh, Microsoft on. Very li unlikely are they going to probably do any Max Payne Easter eggs, mainly because they don't. They actually do not own the license to that property anymore. It's uh, Rockstar owns that, so uh, I wouldn't expect that. Tech you stole. Bill me. I knew Beth's cover wouldn't last long. Would be cool though. And I guess in you know, a little way, time. like the the slow mo effects and stuff like that are kind of like a uh, a homage so to speak, to that game. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff here. Yeah, I definitely got to read this up. I got to read this here. Potentially some cool little uh, tidbits to read through. But uh, I'm trying to go through this as quickly as possible. All right. Brenner's Mug. Alright, so that's, that's it for this series. So I gotta go all the way around now. Alright, so do I just go and. Okay. You guys are. Yeah, you guys are. Oh. For a second there, I thought they were going to unfreeze. Paul had clear priorities. Time ends. Guns don't. Nothing in here. All right. Oh, I see a thing on that dude. The Monarch combat gear was unwieldy. What I'd taken for Gawker Amaral's office was uh, is much lighter, almost like a civilian model. Okay. And uh, nothing there. Okay, so let's go to this door. Oh, we have s potentially some more goods to go through here. Let's see what we can find. Yeah, for you guys watching, uh, what what's your favorite remedy game uh, of all all the ones I made? Like the ones I can think of are basically the main two are like Max Payne and Alan Wake. Uh, Max Payne 2 especially was a very good game. Uh, I never played Max Payne when it originally came out. I actually played the sequel, uh, Max Payne 2, first. Uh, I got it on the PC, I think at the time for like 5 bucks at a giant tagger, which is kind of like a small convenience store kind of thing here in Canada. Garage. Sounds like the way out of this uh, and really enjoyed it. I, I love the the film noir aspect of it, the, the story and whatnot. The uh, of course the gun the gunplay, the slow mo effect was pretty neat, especially for that time. Uh, it's a little archaic now when trying to play it. I, I've actually tried to go back to it. Uh, it. It's still entertaining enough. Like you do get used to to those to the movement and stuff like that. And, and it's definitely better played on the PC than it is on the consoles, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, I mean, overall not too bad. Well, guys, I think this is a good place to end it. And I just want to say real quickly here, as I'm going to run into this door, there we go, we'll end it. Hopefully it actually saves, otherwise I'll have to go back. But anyway, 
Uh, yeah, so anyways, I just want to say that there will not be an episode tomorrow. I'm actually going to uh, reschedule this Let's Play to Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So the next video for this Let's Play will be on Monday. So you only have to wait an extra day uh, to get the next episode, which is uh, fine. And uh, I'm also working on Uncharted 3. And that will likely take up... Uh, the division, which is now complete, I think that'll take up that slot, which is uh, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Yeah, anyway, so anyways, take care, guys. See ya. Bye.